hi all welcome back to the channel so today in this video i'll be explaining you about how we can use or how we can implement data provider concept in playwright using pytest parameterizing test feature so let's uh, understand that so if you had if you have not heard about data provider thing uh, okay so in that case uh, this concept is actually coming from selenium in selenium or in test ng actually we have a concept called data provider and we what is that that is actually you have to pass your data from an external source it can be anything it can be at excel it can be any text file or it can be anything which is there but not in the exactly test so what would be the benefit here so benefit would be like you can run your test for uh, multiple inputs right so let's say you have a test for uh, login scenarios and in that case let's say you want to uh, test your, uh, your you want to verify your test or you want to execute your test for multiple set of data or multiple set of username and passwords okay so for that you do not have to create multiple tests right you can create a single test and you can utilize data provider uh, where you can just have to pass the username and passwords in a like list form or in an array form so one by one it will go and execute so for let's say there are three sets of data so uh, your test will be executed three times and uh, and you will see like three tests passed or one test fails two tests passed something like that so the same thing we are we are will be implementing uh, with playwright as well so let's uh, see that so I am I'm going to use okay so I have uh, opened this website so that is from the PyTest official documentation so you can see like at the rate pytest.mark.parameterize so this concept I'll be using here for data provider there is no direct data provider thing in PyTest but uh, it, within this we can uh, we can use it uh, so, yeah okay so I hope you got it and uh, let me open the website uh, that is all stream website so what we'll be doing i'll be taking these users uh, username and passwords so there are i think four sets of username and passwords passwords are same for every users so let me log in uh, once so i think for standard user uh, it would be we'll be able to log in correctly so we can see this um, products page gets i mean this uh, products details page or product list page is there so I can verify something from this locator okay next uh, take this logout user I think this will not be will not be able to log in successfully it will give some error message yep and the problem user let's see okay here also we can able we are able to uh, log in and the last one is performance user so let's see um, no not this one here it is okay it taking it is taking some time you can see here uh, but it will log in i think yeah so it's getting logged in that's okay but it's taking some time so what uh, scenarios we can perform so we can check we can create one test where we will be passing these four sets of data and we will verify like uh, whether user is able to log in successfully or not but as we know like for logged in user it will fail so that should be expected failure right so that also we will see how we can uh, do that expected failure or something okay so let's first uh, create one file I have this miscellaneous folder and let me create one file here so that is Python file and let's give it a name a test data provider and uh, let's take one sample file oh, I think this is good okay and let's rename it taste data provider let's copy the website URL and paste it here 
okay so we have navigated to the source demo website next what you have to do you have to inspect the username password quickly um, here it is the username should be id is there so username i can use so page dot locator has username that's css locator uh, dot uh, fill and as you know the username is here given so first the standard user i'm using currently so let's give the standard user okay so the next is page dot locator and the password so password is secret sauce no sorry uh, the locator should be password here it is id so any uh, locator you can use okay i'm using a css locator fill secret sauce and uh, finally we have to click on the login button so let's inspect the login button that should be hit that is it so id equals to login button and page dot locator has login button dot click so we made a click on it and after that uh, what happens it navigates to the logged in page so uh, we can do a verification as well so let me log in once So I can take this locator products and okay so I can create an XPath for this pen text equals to products it's matching one unique node so we are good so this is my uh, products locator page dot here it is so this is the locator now we can use expect this products locator dot uh, to have text yeah we can use to have text but I do not want to use to, to, have, to have text so I think to be visible is more accurate okay so I want to as I'm already using the text here so I just want to verify whether this product is there in this page or not that's it also you can verify the URL as well okay you can extract the URL and uh, we can check whether this inventory uh, word is there or not so because once before logged in it is there it is the actual log, uh, url once it is logged in then the url gets changed to inventory right so that's also we can do but that's fine for now this is okay so now uh, we have created a uh, one test so test data provider uh, or we can uh, rename it with anything like test login or something that's okay uh, okay but now the real thing is data provider right so uh, why we are using data provider i already said you but here once i let me explain you so let's see i want to execute uh, this test for another uh, credentials or another three credentials that is given here right so for that what you have to create what to do you have to just copy paste this thing again and again right four times and you have to run it together so it's not the good approach right so you have to use one smart approach for that and that is where we are using data provider so uh, let me go to this website so here it is saying like what you have to do let's say uh, you ha we have one uh, like you can see here test input and expected don't get confused here i will explain now no, i mean i just wanted to show you like what they are doing here so they are importing this pytest package and they are giving this marker 
this is a fixture for at the rate by test dot mark dot parameterize and within that uh, they are passing it like this so what is this test input test input is whatever input we are passing so for our case that test input is standard user and secret source username and password and expected also we can pass for example uh, for each uh, run uh, the expected result is different right so for i mean for each input the expected result is different then in that case we can pass expected results as well and we can validate that so yeah that's the power of data provider right so here what we'll be doing we'll be first importing the pytest package so import pytest and let's use at the rate pytest dot mark dot parameterize and within bracket give a bracket okay now what you have to do you have to give a quotation okay and then uh, we have to use this uh, email and password any name you can give email and password we are giving by or username and password also you can give so username comma password right and um, you have to here you have to give this username and password as a parameter make sure you are using the same keyword whatever you have written here okay so these two parameter we are passing and comma now what we have to do you have to pass a list and within that list you have to give this username and password so uh, this is my standard user that I'm passing now and secret sauce now give a comma and the next tuple we are passing so this is a list of tuple okay and each tuple is containing the credentials that is standard user and secret sauce the first credential and the second credentials let me copy it here from here logout user So this is the second user's credentials. Password is same for all credentials. Again, we have four credentials to give. So add the next one, problem user, comma, secret sauce and last one is performance glitch user comma secret sauce so reformat it yeah and let me okay so I hope you are, you are able to see it properly. So what we have just done, we have created one uh, pytest.mark.parameterize fixture and within that we are giving the username and password. This is this is we are giving username password. We can give email password as well. Make sure here you are giving the same parameter. Okay. And uh, here and the third thing which you have mentioned that is a list of tuple and these tuples are nothing but uh, the credentials which we are giving. So we are uh, running this test for four set of data that is four username and password right so let's run it and before this just let, let to check it we have correctly given it yeah I think correctly we have given it so let's run it so we have created this fold I think the miscellaneous folder so pytest minus s does this headed and uh, we are uh, giving miscellaneous and test underscore data provider run it so you can see it collected four items right So as you can see, it uh, passed for all the four items. Um, but one problem I have done, I mean one mistake I have done. So you are 
worrying about why it is passing for all four tests because it should fail for this one right okay now i hope you are able to uh, catch it because uh, i haven't this is hard coded still right this is not dynamic so you have to make it dynamic or we have to make it dynamic in the sense whatever username it's passed from here i mean from this the, from here it is passed to here right this username and this will pass to this password like this so this username should go here and this is here so not now this username and passwords are not hard coded right so this is parameterized so that is why it's saying like parameterizing by test i mean this word parameterize because we are parameterizing it so let me run once again this time it should fail i mean at least one test should fail So as expected, uh, one uh, got failed and three passed, right? So this is expected failure, right? We know this should fail. So how we can um, test our playwright by test, like make sure uh, this is not showing as failed, but uh, as X failed. So that also we can do. So for that, what we need to do, uh, we have to uh, use one uh, thing that is, uh, let me show you here first. You do not have to remember all this thing you can get it from here i mean this doc.pytest.org so here it is given like uh, pytest.mark.x fail so what we have to do we have to uh, the parameter which is uh, failing so in this case uh, the tuple for which it is failing this one right so uh, we have to do like pytest.param pytest dot param and uh, after that uh, we have to pass this two parameter right now we have to again add another value that is called marks equals to pi test dot mark dot x fill okay so we just have given this one and uh, now let's run it we do not have to do any changes further now let's run Sirik once again. Now we should not see any fail test. Okay, there should be three passed and one expected failure. So as expected, we have now three passed and one X failed. So it's not failing even uh, if you are running through CI okay in that case you will see a green build you will not get any failed build uh, that's the power of this X failure so whenever you know like any test which is you know like this is expected failure in that case you can utilize this one uh, I mean this marks equals to pi test dot mark dot X fail so yep yeah. okay so I hope it is clear so uh, wave if you are um, considering like you need to parameterize your test or you need to uh, dyna uh, dynamically uh, add values so it can be here i have given example of credentials right username and password it can be anything it can be a table where you have to fill like user uh, name last name something like that email so uh, i hope you have uh, you have you you are clear with this and uh, if you have any questions do let me know okay so uh, so here uh, yeah so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and uh,